Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Mediterranean Goddess 1111, um, aka Sarah. What's up? If you are a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you resonate with me. And if you are returning, what's up, Soul Family? What up, Soul Fam? I'm on here to do a quick reading. You guys, I gotta do something about my phone memory. Because I don't mind using this laptop, but this is just like standard definition and it, ha it doesn't have like the best sound quality or the best um, video quality. Um, my phone though, my phone has like the best, it has HD quality, right? It has a really good camera. So I'm going to have to try to figure out what to do about all that, but I'm not going to let it stop me. Spirit says, don't let the small stuff stop you. Keep moving forward. Keep trudging forward. Keep trying to make um, a dent. I just heard, keep trying to make a dent, you know, um, as you go, um, spirit will help you. Just have faith, right? You guys, sorry about all this background, okay? Because usually what you guys see is this right my beautiful death but <laughs> you get to see all my children's artwork you know because i am that mama that hangs my artwork and my kids are prophetic with their artwork on top of it y'all look at what my daughter made me tell me that's not that lord ganesha you know or third eye intuition right so I hang their artwork up. I love their artwork. I don't keep all of it. You know what I'm saying? They make too much. They're very artistic. Um, I'm on here. I want to do a quick, uh, I always say a quick, you know, because I try to make them under 20 minutes. I try to make the videos under 20 minutes. But I wanted to do a sexual tarot reading. So... In the collective, you guys, I'm picking up a lot of sexual energy, a lot of sexual tension, okay? A lot of passion and desire for your person. Um, a lot of sacral healing happening. Uh, I'm, I'm embracing your, I just heard embracing your Marilyn Monroe, right? And if you're a guy, embracing your fucking whoever is sexy, you know, <laughs> whoever's considered, um, embracing your inner Brad Pitt or your inner Tyra Banks or something, you know, your inner Beyonce, your inner, um, who's like a sexy guy model. Like, I don't know who I think is sexy. You guys probably won't think. You know, but it doesn't matter. Just embracing that sexual side of ourselves, that passionate side of ourselves, that the creative side of ourselves. Um, not feeling shame around it, not being judgmental around it. Sorry, I'm always on here like fixing my hair and stuff, but it helps with my um I guess like, you know, I have insecurities and things I work through and that's probably why spirit has me doing YouTube videos. You know, it's like, get comfortable with yourself, get acquainted with yourself. You know, um, I wanted to use the sexual tarot and these whispers of love. Okay. I probably won't show you guys a lot of the cards on this one because of the way that I'm set up. I'm just going to intuitively tell you guys my messages um wow i just heard spirit say when you have an opportunity again to make love to your person embrace that present moment you know don't be in the past in your head about what happened don't be in your head of being self-conscious of, you know, how, how does my body look or, or is this person, um, going to love and accept
accept me as I am, you know, just embrace yourself and feel the love of the moment, you know, making the connection, the heart chakra connection, the, the eye contact, the third eye connection while you're making that sacral connection with your, with your person. I just want to mention, Spirit wants me to mention sex magic, okay? So to me, sex magic is just plainly having a sexual desire for someone and then masturbating and having a release or an orgasm thinking of that person. And a lot of people do it without knowing that it has very, very strong manifestation powers. Um, so I want you to be aware that whoever you're um, masturbating about or pleasuring yourself about, you're giving your creative sexual energy to that person in the 3D. I mean, in the 5D. So even though in the 3D, sorry guys, I forgot to put on lipstick or lip gloss. But in the 3D, you might think you're just getting a nut or whatever, missing your person. But in 5D, you're giving your sexual energy to that person and you're calling them in. So I just want you to be aware of that. One thing, honestly, that I've practiced One thing, sorry, I just got a download when I shuffled that. One thing, though, that I've practiced is if you're going to orgasm and you're going, okay, how do I say this? If you're going to masturbate and you're going to orgasm, try to think of yourself. Try to think about just pleasuring yourself and not another person because that way you are you can uh, hoard or, what is that word? It's like gather gather your own sexual energy, your own creativity for yourself. Okay. Again, without judgment, without shame and guilt, just fully embodying and loving yourself and giving yourself that pleasure. Now, the download that I got is this, that love is what makes the difference. It says, Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. So when you make love compared to just fucking or, you know, lustful sex. So you got your lustful sex, which it could be bomb. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but love added to that sexual passion is what makes all the difference. I'm getting sexual healing. Sexual healing. Sexual healing. Because while you're having sex, it heals past hurts. It gives a sense of security. You feel valued when someone is making love to you because they're giving you more than dick or pussy, right? Excuse my language. But I'm, I keep it, I keep it raw. You guys know that. I keep it real. Um, I just heard protect your energy as well. Protect your sexual energy. You know, it's valuable. So you don't have to just be giving it out to everybody because it's your valuable sexual sacral energy, which is sacred. So before you guys um, have sex, so before you guys have sex, you guys are going to do a lot of talking. Your person is going to, okay, so I'm getting like foreplay, you guys. So before sex, before you guys even get down to business, right? There's just so much passion there. And it starts, a lot of it starts in the intellect and in the mind. I don't know if you guys know, but the mind is the biggest 
sex organ. You cannot get off just from your genitals. You know, I could have sex with like a fine ass person and never come because my mind isn't there. Okay. So you have to be able to let your guard down, relax and open your mind. Right. And so you and your person, you guys have a heavy attraction when it comes to conversation as well. So I'm getting like, that's like the <laughs> spirit said, that's the pre foreplay. So it's like, there's foreplay of like kissing and caressing and rubbing and massaging and, you know, fellatio of, you know, oral sex. But there's also the foreplay of soul gazing into each other's eyes touching each other's hair, um, speaking to each other. And so your person is going to come and express their love through their actions. So where things might have been more hidden before and kept you in a place of limbo where you didn't understand does this person even like me like that or not? Their actions are going to speak loudly this time. They're going to express their love and be very, very outwardly affectionate towards you. And it says simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So um, the things that they do for you... I just heard spirit say it will make you more attracted to them as far as like during, okay, so this is for people in separation. During the separation, we still love our person, but it's become less clingy, right? Because we've done inner work, less, um, I don't know how to say it. Like you don't desire them as much, I guess is what I want to say. Um, you still love them, but you don't desire them as much. But the, the acts of kindness and things they're going to be doing for you to pre foreplay you, um, it's going to activate your heart chakra. It says the heart of the matter. There's more that's going on that meets the eye. So, oh my gosh, I'm getting that they're planning on, they're planning on just wooing you, wooing. Oh gosh. I, I don't know if this is going to be backwards, you guys, because I'm used to always using my phone um, and it's not backwards. So this might be backwards and I hate videos where the cards are backwards, but this says physical touch. Right when I said he's going to woo you, look at that. He is, he has to win your heart. He's excited, actually. I say he, but flip the roles, right? He, she, it's just energy. But your person is excited to woo you. It says a tender touch can mean so much. So you guys enjoy caressing one another more than the actual sex. It's like you're focused on, when you guys are having sex, you're more focused on the love that you feel for one another. And it goes, it goes deeper than, than, it goes deeper than just the lust, you know? You guys are going to be, um, <laughs> sorry. Spirit just said it's going to turn you on when they tell you how they've recognized. Sorry, y'all. Damn, I just like fucked my hair up. But Spirit said that it's going to turn you on when they, um, when they come in to tell you how they feel and how they recognize you for who you are it's going to turn you on.
I heard sweet talk. They're going to be sweet talking you. Like, but it's a, it's not going to have a hidden intention. That's the, that's why it's going to turn you on even more because there's not going to be any, there's not any hidden motive behind it. They're not just trying to get laid because like I said, look, bottom of the deck, it's the love that makes all the difference. So your sex, okay, I just heard spirit say they've had, they've been with a lot of people. They've had sex with a lot of people. What makes your sex stand out? Your, st your sex stands out because you're kind and you're loving and you've proven your loyalty. You've shown that your love is not a fly by night type of thing. Your love is a stable, godlike love. All right, let's get some cards out. All right. God, I come to you. Here we go. <laughs> First card out. Love makes all the difference. So I want you guys, I don't even want to pull any more cards now on this. Spirit says, look to your inner strength. Look to your inner strength and realize who you are. Okay? Because what makes you the strong, beautiful being of light that you are is the love that you have within you. And your person, I just heard, ooh, that's not very good. I just heard feeds off of that. So watch out because we don't want nobody feeding off our energy. Okay? But, oh, okay. Spirit says, it's because you're nourishing. You nourish your person with not just sex, but with your heart space. Okay. Spirit says pull a few more cards from here. So So as this as this union occurs, as this physical union happens, as this honesty comes out, it says honesty is essential. So the, your person is going to speak truth to you and it's going to cause a union of hearts. It's going to cause this love connection and your person is going to demonstrate their love to you. They're going to act on it and show you and in that, you're going to find out how important you are. And, and, and you are going to be in disbelief. I just felt like you're going to be in disbelief. Um, but try to just be in the present, present moment. Because what happens is a lot of us have had such toxic love that when this true love comes in, it's hard for us to kind of be in the present moment because we're in shock. You know, but Spirit says, to be in the present moment with it. All right. God, I come to you in Jesus' name, Holy Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light, spirit guides, archangels, ascended masters, past loved ones. What needs to be said to the collective? What messages need to come out when it comes to sexual energy with them and their person? This true love that you guys have is limitless. Do not put limits on this love. You guys are you guys are going to be supportive of one another. Wow, this is supposed to be a sexual reading and and I need to switch to the sexual tarot deck because in this whispers of love all that keeps coming up is the same thing the heart of the matter. You are limitless. So you guys, I'm hearing power couple. When you guys come together, you're limitless. You're power couple. You're star seeds. You're going to shoot each other off like rockets to the sky. Be supportive of one another in each of your endeavors, holding each other up. Wow. 
the heart of the matter. I'm hearing that song. It's time to get back to the heart of the matter. Even if you don't love me anymore. So the heart of the matter is that the truth is that love is all around you. Love is all around you. Okay. Spirit just said, have patience for your person because they're used to the sexual lust. But when it comes to the intimacy of opening up their heart like this, it is a big deal. It's a big deal. Spirit wants you when you have sex. Okay, because look at this, guys. We got physical touch and love who you are. So it says, love who you are. You are divine. You are delightful. You are deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. And then physical touch, a tender touch can mean so much. So spirit wants you to know when you're receiving. Okay, so now I'm getting, I'm getting some sacral trauma here. Clo a lot of you guys might be closed off sexually. Maybe you've gone through sexual abuse. Or maybe you've just given your love to the wrong people and it's made you not trust. Okay? But Spirit wants you to know that when you're having sex with your person, that the touch is different. The touch is actually meaningful. And it's not meaning just to get you off. The touch is uh, an appreciation and an affection. And, oh, wow, I just heard Spirit say, the masculine delights himself in your body. So it's like, <laughs> I just got a vision of like, you guys know on um, Uncle Scrooge, the ducks, uh, you know, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and then Uncle Scrooge, and how he delights himself in his money, and he's swimming through his money. This is how your person feels about you when they're having sex with you. They feel like they're swimming in your abundance. And so spirit wants you to love who you are and to hold yourself in high regard. And when you're having sex, know that you deserve the, the wonderful things that your person has to offer sexually. Okay, so now I'm getting that. A lot of you are into pleasing the other person. You guys are, you know, you guys will go down on the other person. You guys want to make sure that person is pleasured. And you guys want to make sure that um, they're pleased, you know, but it's not all about the other person. And it's not all just all about you either. It's about the coming together of the partnership. But Spirit wants you to um, practice compassion towards yourself. In this, what? Look, in the spiritual connection. This is a spiritual connection. It's been from past life. It's been, you guys, you guys were in source together. And, um, so spirit just wants you to like, I, I'm hearing like lay back and connect with your body, connect with your divine self, connect with your sacral space. And as you're choosing to give yourself to that person, embrace all of it and know that you are deserving of that pleasure and you don't have to feel guilty or ashamed for feeling that pleasure. You can receive. Spirit wants you, when you're having sex this next time with your person, Spirit wants you to receive. Spirit says, you, look, at this says, consider your foundation. Look how committed you are to love. Spirit wants, okay, so you guys are dealing with your twin. There's all twins in this, in this picture. See? The spirit animals and everything. Twins, twins, twins. So, but spirit wants 
you to know that they've seen you try to build something solid with this other person and this other person um, never put in the work. So now it's time for you to be on the receiving end and let them put in some work. I heard, let them lay some bricks, you know? It's like you already put that foundation there um, and spirit wants them to lay some bricks. <laughs> I'm done. Bro, I just heard the masculine say, I just heard the masculine say, I, I ain't gonna lay no bricks, but I'll lay some pipe. <laughs> he wanna lay the pipe down. He wanna lay the pipe down. <clears throat> oh, goodness. Mm. Got King of Pentacles already, so somebody wanting to give you this stability. Eight of Pentacles. Wanting to work. Wanting to put in that work. Oh my gosh. Work, 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 work. I'm sorry. I was seeing the video of Drake, you know, grinding up on Rihanna. That's what he want to do to you. Your person, like I said, if this is a masculine watching this, flip the rolls. Your person want to grind up on you. Ace of Pentacles. Oh boy. I just heard I just heard the masculine say, I'm gonna put a baby in you. And if like I said, if you're a masculine, watch out because she wants you to put a baby in her. Okay. I heard drop the seed. Plant the seed. Have fun, y'all. I'm done with that shit. God bless you on your endeavors towards towards that. Anyways. Baby, I hear spirit baby, spirit baby, spirit baby. What else? Mm. Oh boy. Oh boy. I heard spirit just said that they, they blocked you out in a past life before. They blocked this love out before. But they're ready to move forward. They might have blocked it out. If it wasn't a past life, then they blocked it out in the past, right? They, they, they know that this is a soulmate relationship with you, but they betrayed you. They tried to manipulate you. They tried to use your heart against you. Oh my God, what an asshole. Sorry, y'all. No judge me here, but damn. I don't like when I pick up on those feelings, but like they knew that they knew you loved them, and so they tried to use that to manipulate you to do what you want them to do, to, to serve what they want, you know, because they knew you were full of so much love. But it's like, but now they're ready to move forward and make these plans with you, and they're secretly admiring you. They just don't know exactly what to say, but oh my gosh, you guys, they, they are masturbating and thinking about you and only you, you are the star of the show. I heard you are their fantasy porn star. Okay. Look at this. The emperor with the star. You are very authentic. You stand out because of your heart. They feel so nurtured when they pleasure themselves about you and when they have sex with you. And they see you as like a wife, you know? And they're, they're doing a lot of, it's a lot of masturbation. Um, I just heard you make them weak in the knees. You make them weak in the knees. Ooh, they're starting to get very, very fr like sexually frustrated um, towards themselves. Oh my gosh, they're getting 
sexually frustrated towards themselves because they're the ones that put the wedge in between you guys. They're the ones that, you know, and I don't, I'm not here to blame. Okay. So spirit just said, stop blaming. So there was an ending. Okay. There was an ending. It doesn't matter who thinks who was to blame. There was an ending and they're frustrated that they don't have you in their bed right now. It's like they want, they, they want to manifest, they want to manifest working together with you, partnering up with you. But I just heard spirit say they want to manifest different positions with you. They're trying to put you in those. I'm hearing that Ariana Grande song. The switching the positions for you. Queen of Wands, they see they're they're so attracted to you. You're on your shit. They're so passionate for you. Switching the positions for you. They want to do it in the bedroom. They want to do it everywhere. They want to do it everywhere. Oh, gosh. Only thing, you guys, they're still stuck in their head about deceiving you and making you an option. Oh, they know that's why you're... Okay. So, they want to have sex with you and they want, they're going to send you a message. Because they want to be with you. They want the stability with you. They want to start a new, fresh beginning with you, but they know that you have your boundaries up because of um, the manipulation that you've ha dealt with before from them. They're stuck in their head about it. But damn, y'all, look at this. I heard y'all are bringing them to their knees. So before they were weak in their knees, now they're on bended knee. Oh my gosh. Spirit says that's where I want them. I want them on bended knee. Oh wow. I'm getting a lot of downloads. On bended knee praying to source to have a chance with you. On bended knee because <laughs> they've, they've, they've surrendered. And on bended knee because it's time for you to receive the pleasure. It's time for them to be on their knees. Because look. Ten of Pentacles, I mean, excuse me, is that? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles and King of Cups. This person loves the shit out of you. This person, you have now turned this player that just had all these lustful, maybe porn addictions, and now when they get off, when they're masturbating, their their heart is full of so much love because they want to have this family and this legacy and this future with you. They want to partner up with you. They want to be your husband. This is, they know and you know, it's destined. It's destiny. That's what makes the sex so good. I've heard married people say that before. I've heard married people say. Uh-oh. So well, what I was going to say was I heard I've heard married people say before that there's, you know, when when you have a healthy marriage and a, a really good connection, that that sex is better than, you know, just fucking like really good fuck sesh you know because of the amount of soul bond that's there but um you guys are in your you guys okay so they see you as being kind of distant and cold when they're trying to reconcile with you but they're not going to give up because they want this success with you. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I just saw the world card and then I heard Spirit played that song. I've been around the world, a yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't wanna, uh, uh, I don't know and I don't know why. Why they're gonna hate us. Uh, 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 why they hate us. Is it my lady? Is that I drive Mercedes? Baby, baby. So that tells me, I don't even know all the words, but it tells me right there that your masculine's been around the block. And I don't mean to, to call him a hoe or nothing like that. But your masculine has been around the block. Okay? They have never met anybody like you. And they're stuck in their head about it. And they want to give the offer to you. And they don't care about none of the haters. It says, I don't know why they hate us. Is it my lady or that I drive Mercedes? So that tells you right that. People are going to be hating on you guys. I got power couple energy earlier. People are going to be hating on you guys because it's like dudes or people will be hating on that person just because they're with you. And people will be hating on you just because you're with them. Because you guys are both desired, desirable, beautiful people that the other haters and karmics and all them, they want them. They want y'all. And so y'all are going to be abundant in, in your relationship, abundant sexually together, abundant in your finances, and people will be hating. And y'all are going to be having some bomb sex. It's going to be healing. Anyways, I love you guys so much. This was just a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a personal reading, please hit me up on my email sjchip at gmail.com and I will give you a energy reading session um subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time peace